Thank you very much for taking the time to do this interview. To everyone, you're like God. I mean, from everything, from mainstream appearances to music to your latest CD. And um, another thing, it's just you have had such a long career in this business. How do you do it? Like, what is the key to keeping Motorhead for having such longevity in the metal business? Well, I mean, look at this tour. You've got Judas Priest and Ronnie Dio, who have both been going longer than me, and Black Sabbath have been going longer than me. So, I mean, I'm the junior here, you know. Like, but the, the secret of, like, surviving is not going away, you know, because we won't go away. So you have to put us on tours eventually, right? You know, because we ain't going anywhere. We're just going to keep nagging at you until you put us on tour, you know. And that's the story, folks. And what would you say some of the highest points of Motorhead has been? Because, I mean, you guys have been back and forth the hair and Helen back. Yes, we have, yeah. Um, and back again. <laughs> uh, well, the high point probably was going straight into number one in Britain with the live album back in 80. You know, that's a long time ago. One of the best things that happened to me was moving to America. You know, because we would have been gone if I hadn't. Motorhead would have been broke up. And I met you too, Justin, oh. didn't I? Isn't that nice? Um, that's very sweet. I know. <laughs> kind of guy I am. I know, I know, I can tell. He's actually a very sweet guy, ladies, in case you didn't know. Um, you know, you came here, you have a really successful band. What were you doing before Motorhead? Before you even decided to play music, and what made you decide to be a singer? Like, what inspired you to play bass, pick up that bass, and do what you do best, be a front man? Well, I used to be a guitar player, see, because there were no bass player front men then. I thought you had to be a guitarist to be front man. And then I, I was really a mediocre fucking guitarist. I was terrible, you know. So I took up bass instead when I joined Hawkwind, and uh, I was good at that. But I was a rotten guitar player, really. Struggling for years and didn't work faking it, you know. What was your career before Motorhead? Well, I was in Hawkwind for four, four and a half years before Motorhead. Before that, I was in all kinds of shit. I was in a band called the Reverend Black and the Rockin' Vickers, which is a hell of a name, isn't it, really? But I was doing better with them than I am now. I had two Jaguars and a speedboat, you know, I mean, we were doing all right. If you weren't Motorhead, what would you be doing right now? What time a... probably <laughs> I'd be in jail you know because I'm, I'm unemployable really you know because I haven't got any skin I'm not going to settle for them wages so you know I'm going to be in jail and I'm doing something horribly illegal now one of my favorite moments okay one of my favorite movies of all time is Airheads oh, how did you <laughs> how did you get into Airheads I went straight from the airport onto the set believe it or not well, how did they book you for it? Like, what was the process? Did they contact your agent? Was it something you actually wanted to do? We'd already done a song for it, right? The, the end thing. And uh, we got a video out of it, too. We got iced tea on there because of it. So basically, it was just us going on, you know, we had 300 bucks, go and say two seconds worth of line, you know. What do you think the hardest part of touring is? Because I've seen you tour, like, you've been all over the world. Well, the hardest part is probably fucking around at airports these days, you know, because it's so tedious. Home security, you know. I mean, it's not as bad everywhere else, you know, it's mostly America. But it's really boring, you know. And out of all the places you've played, we know that you've played, like, everywhere, except Antarctica, obviously. Where would you say your favorite places to play and why? I don't know, I don't mind, you know, I like anywhere where they go hooray, you know, as long as they don't go boo, fuck off, you know, I like it. I mean, obviously you've been around for quite a while now, and the music industry has changed so much, like with digital, downloading, the internet. What are your thoughts on that, and where do you see the future of metal? Well, I don't know about metal, the future of the record business is over. Because <laughs> they're all, it's, the internet's going to take them out, you know. Downloading doesn't give you the good album sleeve with the gatefold thing, you know. And uh, you guys don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about, you know, but you should have done because it was better, you know, better package to buy. And I mean, you have your tour here. What are you doing after the tour? And where do you see Motorhead in five years from now? Five years, let's see. I'll be 67, which is a very good year, actually. <laughs> so I don't know, you know, I mean, I'll carry on as long as it seems like feasible and then I'll stop. <laughs> How come you could, you could still keep the same voice, the same stage presence? What keeps you going? 
I don't have a choice with the vocals. I mean, my voice is my voice, right? Take it or leave it. But I mean, the stage presence, I don't know about stage presence. I just go up there and do what I do, you know. It's not a plan. We don't have a plan. How did you guys actually come about to hiring Mickey D? Oh, well, I knew him from King Diamond anyway, you know, before. And then we asked him to join ages before he joined us, and he said, no, I have to join Dokken. <laughs> You know, so uh, we let him do that and work it out of his system, and then we got him on the rebound, you know. And he's been with us, what, 15 years now? New album that came out. Yeah. You work with Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters on that. How was that? What was the recording process like, and what was it like working with David Grohl? Uh, well, we weren't working with David, it was his studio, you know. Right. He came in a couple of times, but mostly we went up there because he had the best video games <laughs> in, the, uh, in the lounge, you know. He's, uh, he's got a great, we just did the drums there, he's got a great studio for drums, it's really big and like, you can get all the boom boom room, you know. We did most of it at uh, Sage and Sound in LA actually. It's on North Gordon, it's a good studio, you won't be sorry. And what would you say, I mean you guys have actually kept the same sound for many years and if someone has never heard of Motorhead, and I know all of you have or else you wouldn't be watching this right now, um, well how would you describe the sound? Brutal. And loud. Yeah, loud. Why do you like Jack and Coke versus like Crown and Coke? Why is Jack and Coke your, your favorite drink? You can get Jack everywhere. They've got a better distribution system, you know. What do you listen to nowadays? Um, I don't listen to a whole lot of music, you know, because if you do it for a living and you get to this stage of life, I, I don't really listen to a lot of stuff. If I do, I listen to old stuff mostly. Beatles, Little Richard, stuff like that, ZZ Top I was listening to today. But there are some good new bands. Airborne's really good. Yeah. But they just pulled off our tour because the singer's sick. So who was on the tour then? Um, Misfits and um, Year Long Disaster and uh, Valiant Thor, who are excellent too, yeah, they are. actually. So you were in the Airborne video, and yeah. how did that happen? They asked me to do it, I said yes. Do you say yes to everything? Pretty much. What's the story with the Motorhead logo? What is that supposed to be? It's, uh, what do you call it, a war pig. Let's hear about the new album. I need to know the, the album. It's called Motorizer, uh, which is a non-word really. It doesn't exist, but now it does because we made it up. So uh, go and buy two copies immediately. You won't be sorry. Keep one in cellophane for later, you know, and play one on the whatever you've got system, you know. You'll like it. It's brutal. What would you say to your fans right now if you had one message to them? Hi. Don't vote for politicians. They will always let you down. I can't wait to see you guys play live tonight. Thank you, my I want to see you right by the side of the stage. You have always been one of my biggest, um, how can I say it, my biggest idols ever. And I mean that. And I wish you the best of success with everything. Thank you very much. And do you have anything else to say, Mr. Lemon? Same to you, dear. What's your website? Website is imotorhead.com. So guys, don't forget, please don't download, because when you download, it takes money out of their pockets, and they don't get to tour, and that means you don't get to see them play live. So pick up Motorhead Motorizer from SPV Recordings USA, and visit imotorhead.com. Thank you very much for watching us. See you later.